Hi everyone, so I just want to give a little update of my current house. The sofa is already here and we have everything set up quite neatly. It's almost done. I would say it's about 70% that is already being done. So I guess for the subsequent videos, I will talk about the different sections and areas of the house and then I will just share with you what I did to each area. So before we dive in into today's video, I would like to introduce this website called Home Trust. So basically, it's a website that publishes the reviews of all the interior designers in Singapore. It features the top interior designers in Singapore as well. And as a matter of policy, they actually do not remove any reviews, be it positive or negative. And they allow all homeowners' opinions and views to be published in order to provide greater transparency in this industry. And there are also negative reviews as well that are being published for the interior um, designers or firms. So doing your research on all these reviews will definitely help you to reduce the chances of experiencing renovation nightmares. So let's start with this door here. So in the last video, I talked about the digital door lock and next to it over here is like a little niche. So you can actually do some carpentry here to do your shoe cabinet. Um, for us, we didn't do it. We just bought like a stool from Shopee and it cost about like $25. So we had this. And then um, in the meantime, we might actually put buy a very slim shoe cabinet to put over there. Um, yeah, and then we just put some like mats. And this is actually from the car. We just kind of recycle the car mat to use it to put the shoes temporary here. And then on this side for the DB box, we also didn't do carpentry, okay, but um, we did some minor stuff to it. So I can actually organize the wires. So I bought like cable ties um, just to actually tidy up. So I know like which wire is connected to which source. This is important. And we have our wire mesh. So we're using my Republic um, data plan. Um, not data plan, sorry. I said like the internet plan. All right, then um, in a DB box, they actually have PowerPoint, so we actually made use of it. So we actually got like a multi-purpose plug so that we can actually attach multiple plugs to it. And on this side, I decided to maybe just hang the key. So basically, when it comes to DB box, I just want to put things that are related to um, the house security stuff and so forth. So actually, there's a lot of space over here. We can actually make use of it. I'm thinking of putting more hooks to hang more stuff. Um, yeah, otherwise this space is wasted. So I'm just thinking what else I can do with it. And then like most people, what they would do is that for the second tier over here, they will actually get people to build shelves, right? So I didn't. Um, instead, I just got my dad. I mean, he, he offered to make shelves, but I think there isn't, it isn't necessary. Um, so what I just asked him to do was to actually just put a, do a plank of wood just to make the base even because I realized that my, our DB box for this estate is not there's this like groove downwards so we want to like make it the, the base flat so that we can put stuff on it so that's the only thing that I asked my dad to help me do it and then if you want you can actually do like shelves but I don't think it's necessary because I actually like do like this little corner over here where I can actually put stuff that are long like the long umbrellas that i have you can also put like yoga mats or stick i don't know anything that is long so i just thought that you know it's perfect to just find like a rack that goes along with it so this rack is from ikea i search high and low for the perfect dimension because i'm like this part is like 20 cm and then he, over here to here i think it's about a meter so it's very hard to find a very slim rack you know that um has a certain height as well so i found the perfect one it's only like 14.90 on ikea and then um, they sent it today and i just built it today and it takes like maybe five to ten minutes just to build it up it's quite simple there's no drilling no um drilling needed no screwing screwdriver needed yeah so i just put my mask here so like stuff related to outdoor like perhaps you can also hang hooks over here to hang your hats so actually this rack comes with like four wheels it's actually meant to be in to be used in the kitchen or the laundry room or even like toilet but 
I decided not to use the wheel because it's a bit funny to make it like wheel. But if you remove the, I mean, if you don't attach the wheels, the base itself is pretty stable over there. So that's the layout. So that's how we make use of it. Right, moving on. So we have this um, Root Sense shoe cabinet that I actually showed in the previous video and one of you actually asked me to review this. Um, this is very costly. This is actually $700. We actually bought it on Shopee. So there's this seller who bought this um, from China. You can get it from Taobao. I think it's roughly around the same price. Um, one thing do note is that although it's a smart shoe cabinet and it runs by, via an app, do know that you can't use the app in Singapore because the app is actually made to be used in China using China phones. So our phones can't use, can't download the app that is meant to be controlled by RootSense. Otherwise, it will have been really powerful to be able to use the app to like um, do certain settings like turn on and off using the app itself. Yeah. So anyway, because of this, we actually planned this for really, really long because my husband has a lot of shoes and they stink. So we already planned to have like a PowerPoint that is being fixed during renovation. So we told our ID to create this power source. We wanted to do it there initially. However, um, there's, it's going to be very um, difficult to pull the electrical wires from one source to another source because there's no... Uh, the nearest source is actually the kitchen over there. So we decided to just do it here. So what they did was that there was a PowerPoint here. So they just pull the wires and they kind of run it through here. And so this is the extra PowerPoint. So we put it there. So do note that this smart shoe cabinet would need electricity. So we don't own it all the time. Only like when we decided that, you know, there's a new shoe. I mean, we just came back and uh, we wanted to like just add a shoe or to like keep it dry then we just put it in all right so this is how it works later i'll turn it on to show you how it works so it looks like this when you open up there is like two tiers uh, by the way this cabinet comes with three tiers there is one which is two so we bought the one that is three so there is a uh, deodor mode there is sterilization mode, hot dry, air dry, and then the different mode and the start button. So these are the modes. And then over here, they will show the little screen when I turn on. Okay, the disadvantage about this rack is that um, right now it's being tied by a cable tied to this. But I believe we can actually cut the cable tie and then slot it in to fix it anywhere. But I feel that we could only either slot into this part, which is the current place or either this a bit lower but it doesn't make sense because um you can as you can see my husband's shoes like sneakers is very fat so he can only put like one shoe here so this height is actually perfect and one shoe here and he can't really squeeze in another one here so he can only put like other shoes like loafers and the thing is that he also can't put shoes here because of this little groove so you can only put like ladies shoes that are smaller in size so let me show it to you so you can see um the design is not really user you know they, they don't design it with the fact that you know everything is perfectly nicely fit the shoe so i so i think to me this is uh, this is actually an advantage this is a disadvantage sorry this is actually a disadvantage having this groove over here the design here is quite poorly um it's not being considered yeah so I can only put like smaller size shoes over here. But by the way, the seller that sells this to us, right, um, from Singapore, uh, their service is pretty good. And they say that they actually usually sell this to like bowling alley centers where they actually uh, air dry and deodorize their bowling alley shoes. Okay. Right. Then the second tier, same thing. You just press, push, and then after that, you go down. Okay, so over here, because it doesn't have this groove, right? So basically, it can fit three pairs of shoes. So again, um, the top part is not made use of. And why? why? Because here, the length is wider in terms of the width. So I can put a pair of shoes. Like just now, how I put it, it's per it's, it fits nicely. Okay, 
But if I put on the first tier, right, it's actually jutting out and I can't close. See? So to me, I think that is the, really is the design of the shoe rack. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you really, really want to make use of it, it's actually perfect for lady shoes because lady shoes are smaller. However, if he really wants to use the second tier, the only way is to like put it this way. If, and if you put it this way, that means you can only put two pairs of shoes. So this is something that you have to bear in mind because to me, the space and the design is not uh, really fully maximized. Okay, I just turn it on. There is a sound. And then over here, you will just say Wi-Fi. So these are the various modes. So you can start. So right now, it's at... Um, I think this represents certain mode. So anyway, when I turn it on, you will just run for 30 minutes. Do it. Oh yeah, it's actually over here. We have the different function keys like tutorization, sterilization, hot dry, and the air dry. So you got to press the function keys, then press start to run these tasks. And actually they have very cool mode, like, you know, depending on the weather, you can also choose, they will help you choose the various mode. And then you can turn off and off the power. So once again, the very, the, 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 the I would say in terms of the biggest disadvantage is that they say that there's an app, but you can't use the app. Secondly, the design of the tier is not very efficient. Oh yeah, you can see it's running already for one minute. It's not very efficient. There is like two tier and you can't maximize it. The first tier can only contain two shoes on this side. This side only can contain like smaller pairs of shoes. Um, other than that, um, in terms of advantage, of course, is to really keep the shoes clean, sterilized. And you know, you don't have to use like thirsty hippo, you're gonna put, don't have to put like so much, so many charcoal. And I feel that even if you do put that charcoal, they only work to a certain extent, more can still grow. So with this uh, cabinet, it's pretty good. So next to it, moving on, is I have a standing fan. So this standing fan is actually meant for the dining table over here. So when we're having dinner, we don't have a ceiling fan. So it can be a bit warm. So therefore we actually put a standing fan here. This is only $99, very um, cheap, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's quite noisy, the fan. Unless you just really want a cheap option, then this is good. In terms of the wind power, it's pretty okay. And on this side, some of you have been asking me this dining table, where is it from? This is from Love Home. We purchased the sofa as well as the chairs and the dining table by a loft home. This is an extendable table. So we actually got this at a quite a good deal for like 200 plus. And for the chairs, we bought like maybe $60 each. So it's extendable from 1.2 meters. It can go all the way up to 1.6 if I'm not wrong, or even 1.8. And I pretty like the chairs. It's nice and comfortable. And if you don't know, um, I think most of the items on loft home are available on Taobao as well. So if you want a cheaper option, you can get it from there. But for us, we are just too lazy to think about all the shipment and stuff like that. So we just get it from there. And that's that for the little corner, my little dining area that I have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And definitely, this is still work in progress. Definitely, we are still like trying to spruce up the space. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, I'll probably cover the stuff in the kitchen. See you guys, bye!